I was once an atheist and it took me many years to feel the presence of God. I had to get rid of my arrogance of intellect, arrogance of science, arrogance of rational thinking and only then I could feel God. God is that all-pervading force which is responsible for the creation of everything, creation of the universe. Albert Einstein puts it very beautifully. He says, human mind, no matter how well trained, cannot really comprehend, cannot really fully understand the universe. Our position is like a little child which walks into a huge library full of thousands of books in different languages. The child knows that somebody has written those books, but it does not really know much about what is there in those books. The child knows that there is some kind of an arrangement of the books. Some kind of a rule governs that arrangement of the books. But then, child cannot really comprehend it. Our position about God is somewhat similar. We know that there is some kind of a force which has created the whole universe. There are some rules which guide the movement of the stars and the planets but we cannot really fully grasp it. To realize God is to feel that you are a tiny part of the whole universe, but you are the part of the universe, you are part of God. My God taught me to get rid of my arrogance. My God taught me humility. My God taught me to empathize, to love. My God taught me not to hate, not to be angry. My God also taught me to be in harmony with the whole universe. My God taught me to be at peace with myself and all existence. And my God also taught me to be fearless. There's often a phrase used that a God-fearing person, a pious person is called God-fearing. I think there is no need to be fearful of God. If you are fearful of somebody, then he cannot be God. You should not be God-fearing, you should be God-loving because God basically gives us strength and God is actually helping us to get rid of all fears. The idea that you can appease God by offering God money, gold, rice, coconuts is I think a foolish idea. Because God is not a, a dealer in blessings. He doesn't sit there saying that, okay, give me this and I will give you this. If God starts accepting all these offerings, then I think it is time to set up an anti-corruption bureau in the heaven. Prayers cannot be offered in kind. Prayers should be offered with kindness. Prayers should be offered with love, with empathy, with ahimsa. To be spiritual, actually, you don't even need religion. Spiritual is a state of mind. I have created a work called Spiritual. Look at this work. In this work, SPI are plain and ritual is studded with gold. This is precisely what is happening to most of our connections with God. There is very little spiritual left in most religions and what remains is only rituals. My guru in my spiritual pursuits is Mahatma Gandhi. Mahatma Gandhi believed that God is truth and truth is God. And he said, if you follow truth, then you are very religious. Mahatma Gandhi equates God with love, with ahimsa, with empathy. Gandhiji believed that God is a principle and not a person. And you cannot compartmentalize spiritualism. You cannot be spiritual on Mondays and Saturdays and non-spiritual rest of the time. Or you cannot be spiritual only at the prayer meetings or only in the temples or the mosque or the places of worship. There's a very nice quotation about Gandhiji's spiritualism by Desmond Tutu. Desmond Tutu says that wherever Gandhi went, the spiritual and the transcendental always accompanied him. Gandhi was spiritual when he was at a prayer meeting and he was also spiritual when he was at a protest meeting.